might be thinking the answer is $1, right? Because you probably did this. Inside the parentheses first, 2 plus 2 gives you 4. Then, 3 times 4 equals 12. And finally, 12 divided by 12 gives you 1. Sounds simple enough. That's exactly what 90% of people do. But here's the catch. That's not how real math or even real-world finance actually works. Now let's slow this down and go step by step. This is $12 divided by 3, open parentheses, 2 plus 2, close parentheses. According to PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, we always start with parentheses first. That's fine. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now we're left with $12 divided by 3, open parentheses, 4, Close parentheses. Here's what happens next. Most people see that 3 and 4 side by side and think it means multiply first. But that's not what PEMDAS says. Multiplication and division have equal priority, and we solve them from left to right, just like reading a balance sheet. So we go left to right. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Then we take that result, 4, and multiply by the next 4. And 4 times 4 equals 16. So the correct answer is $16, not $1. Now, let's put this in a financial mindset for a second. Imagine you're managing investments. If you apply the wrong order of operations, it's like misreading your cash flow statement. One small misstep and your whole return calculation goes off the rails. That's why even hedge fund analysts double-check equations like this because precision means profit. So remember, in both math and money, the order matters. Follow PEMDAS correctly. Handle parentheses first, then division and multiplication from left to right. So again, $12 divided by 3, open parentheses 2 plus 2, close parentheses, equals $16, not $1. If you spotted that before the reveal, congrats, you really do think like a finance pro. And if you have a different take or a valid argument, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to see your logic. Thanks for watching, and hey, don't forget, whether it's math or investing, always check your steps before making a move.